Who's ready for the sweet embrace of death? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 games where it is fun to die. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be taking a look at various games in which dying adds significant entertainment value to the experience. Note that we're emphasizing the dying angle here, so if you feel like an obvious entry is missing, you might be able to find it on our other list, Top 10 Games, where it's fun to fail. I'm Todd Habercorn, and as someone who is dying every day, I think I've got the perfect insight into the ingredients for this list. And by dying every day, I mean, really, when you think about it, aren't we all? Right this very second? Hashtag this got super dark. Well, at least you've got this channel to keep you warm as you eventually change your eternal mailing address to death's doorstep one day. Let's get ready to mojo! Number 10, Space Quest Series. In the 80s and 90s, point-and-click adventure games had a notorious reputation for being rather unforgiving when it came to player actions. Space Quest is a prime example, having dozens of different ways for players to get themselves axed off. If that wasn't bad enough, the game would often pour salt in the wound by poking fun at each mistake made. Every death comes with some smart-mouthed commentary in a text box along with a catchy tune. At least the game was laughing with us, rather than at us. <laughs> or at least that's what we'd tell ourselves after every single expiration. Number 9, Leisure Suit Larry series. You wouldn't think a series based around getting jiggy with the ladies would incur that many fatalities, but you'd be surprised. In an odd way, finding all the ways to get Larry killed is actually one of the franchise's most entertaining aspects. Given how much of a sleaze Larry can be, we can't help but laugh at his misfortune whenever we make him do something that results in his over-the-top end. As life ebbs from you, your body is picked clean by wandering bums, muggers, and raccoons. These deaths may be cartoony and downright cheesy, but that doesn't make them any less funny. Plus, they double as important life lessons, like how the art of seduction is a double-edged sword with at least three venereal diseases. He's alive. Number eight, King's Quest series. Well, 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 what are you gonna do now? You've got to appreciate the deaths found in adventure games. There's just something magical about meeting a grisly end in such a lighthearted genre. The King's Quest series is yet another example that fits under that blood-drenched umbrella, but ups the fun with delightfully groan-inducing wordplay and puns galore. Some of the ways you can die include getting too close to a bear, getting stung by a scorpion, or the always popular getting crushed by a boulder. The moving rock rolls downhill and right into you. A crushing defeat. There's even a couple of games where you can just die from being idle too long. Needless to say, this king knows how to troll, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Big shout out to King's Quest VI. I loved playing the bone xylophones in the underworld. Yes! The gnomes toss Alexander too far out into the sea for him to get his footing. The currents drag him under. Number seven, Happy Wheels. <laughs> Ah, an internet classic. If you're looking for a quick fix and hilarious game overs, this title is bound to tickle your funny bone, while metaphorically breaking it. Levels can spike in difficulty at the drop of a hat, leading to your avatar of choice suddenly exploding into a fountain of blood in a glorious fashion. By meshing together ragdoll physics with blades, harpoons, landmines, and spike traps, Happy Wheels makes for a one-of-a-kind gore fest that still has people playing it over eight years later. <laughs> Number six, human fall flat. <laughs> 
Simplistic yet oh so satisfying, this little indie hit is best experienced in the company of a friend. While you're meant to traverse a variety of different areas and solve puzzles, the real appeal here is to grab the nearest object and let the trolling commence. One more time, one more time, one more time. Once you and your friend discover the ability to grab and pick each other up, it may be hard for either of you to get serious and stop throwing each other off the map. You can still enjoy the oddly serene solo campaign if you wish, but the level design, respawn mechanics, and imminent multiplayer shenanigans make messing around just too much fun. We all grabbed on, and we right. just shimmied off the edge. Go. Jonesy, use Jonesy. your hand, not your face. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Besiege. Were you one of those kids that spent hours building something only to destroy it minutes later? Well, if you're looking for a similar experience, this explosive indie has you covered. In order to progress, you'll have to build different and increasingly complex structures and vehicles. Of course, it's easy to get sidetracked and start building stuff completely irrelevant to your objective. As you might expect, most of your creations are going to end up exploding, which is arguably when the game is at its most rewarding. Finally! I can fulfill my dream of creating the ultimate doomsday weapon, the Habergeddon, coming summer of 2019. Oh, this is, this is glorious. I don't know how the hell it keeps doing this. Number four, Worm Series. Sure, nothing beats the satisfaction of watching an enemy unit be consumed by a perfectly thrown holy hand grenade, but recent titles have still gone out of their way to make dying just as much fun as winning. This can mostly be found through customizing your worm squad. That's what she said? On top of cosmetic features, you can choose from a wide variety of voice packs, each with their own unique attitudes and dialogue. Yes, that includes what their final words are. Listening to the worms spit out pop culture references before detonating themselves into a tombstone is morbidly delightful. <laughs> Number three, Burnout Series. This might be cheating a bit, but when you think about it, you're not playing as a driver. You're playing as the cars. So when the cars crash, that's technically a death, right? Marinate on that and get back to us. Well, anyways, Burnout is famous for its slow motion replay feature, where players can witness every detail of their untimely demise. Seeing the damage you've caused is both shocking and hysterical, especially when you accidentally hit another car. Sorry, AAA Motor Club. The slow-mo is so addictive that it's caused some players to plug in and play purely for the sake of unleashing the destructive motorhead that exists in all of us. Taking it to the streets, taking it, taking it to the streets, you're gone. Number two, Kirby. Kerball Space Program. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I forgot the parachute. So you want to build spaceships, but don't want to go through the dangerous process of testing them out yourself? Never fear. These derpy looking dudes will happily pilot your creations, even if they're likely to burst into flames or be left stranded in the Dyson vacuum of space. The best part about this game, you can watch the destruction unfold from every angle you can think of. Granted, we feel guilty about putting the curveballs through so many failures, but hey, that's their job, right? Get back in the cockpit. Ooh, we lost our parachute. Number one, Mortal Kombat series. Kung Lao wins. Fatality. Whereas other fighting games go for the classic KO, this murderous masterpiece of a franchise grants players the option to humiliate their opponents by reducing them to bloody chunks. The now iconic fatalities are so horrifically creative that most of the time you don't even feel that upset about losing. Really, it's more of a queasy, I need to do my rosemaries for an hour feeling. Over the years, we've gotten the opportunity to witness the many ways someone can be literally deconstructed, yet Scorpion and the rest keep finding new ways to improve upon perfection. Get over here! Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.